in my business, which, you know, I play a lot of different kinds of music, as many people know, but probably let's say the main thing I do is with dream theater. And, um, and there's a certain viewpoint that I come to that, that job, if you will, uh, with, you know, most progressive rock keyboard players, I would say, uh, are using like a system with many, many keyboards. They'll have one keyboard, maybe they'll play piano on, and then they'll move over here and they'll play their Mellotron, and then they'll go up here and there's an organ and there's stuff all over the place. But the thing is for me, there's a few things going on for me. I've always gravitated uh, for most of my career by going to one kind of, let's call it like powerful instrument and getting the most out of it. Most keyboard players know a little bit about this one, a little bit about that one, or a little bit about this one, but that's not the way that I function. So technology wise, I find something that really does a lot of stuff and I'll get the most out of it. Like now I play on a Korg Kronos and that is the, you know, 95% of what I do. And the reason I can do that is because I know how to program that machine. First of all, it's a very powerful synthesizer workstation. I can program it for the synthesis parts of it. There's all these different types of synthesis inside of the Kronos, but there's also the ability to sample. So like if I have a virtual instrument that I really love, like I'm using something like, a, you know, a contact instrument, right? And it's incredible strings. I'll take the part of the string sound that I need. I'll sample it. I'll manipulate it in the Kronos. And now I have this beautiful sound there. So over the years, I've really done that where I take my sound sources, whether it's an original sound of me tapping on a glass and I need that bell sound or closing a big door for an effect, or uh, it's something from a sound library that I don't want to bring my computer. I just want to do it on my Kronos. So I make the most out of it. So that's, that's, part one of why I do it that way. Part two is a musical reason, which is I find when I listen to keyboard players that are doing this, like doing that all over the place, playing this instrument, turning their body to play this one, turning again. Sometimes the, the musical phrasing is not smooth. So I, so what I do is I keep my hands on the keyboard that I'm playing. And like these days, and for a while, I use a, a pedal to take me from one, what we call combination to another. So I might have a very like big sound with brass in my left hand and with choir mixed with organ in my right, I can hold that. And then when I step on a pedal while holding that chord, the next time my fingers go down, it might be like a special effect and a big, you know, 66 trombone sound mixed with some kind of a, you know, incredible, you know, string orchestra sound. So without lifting up my hands, I can literally go there and then hit the next chord and it can be completely different with all different sounds along the keyboard. And that really works for me and I feel satisfied musically. But it does mean that I have probably, I think my tech told me the other day, I have about 400 sound changes during a night. So I'm just stepping, incrementing through on the pedal to get me through all the different songs. But of course, Dream Theater, you know, we have epic, long, maybe 20 minute, songs so there could be a lot of sound changes.